Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Ayurveda Free Health Insurance. Today's video is about the asanas which can be practiced when women feel dizzy during menstruation. It's normal to feel lightheaded during menstruation. There are different reasons to feel that some are anemia due to blood loss, pain from cramps and hormones like prostaglandins effect etc. So let's see which asanas can helpful in all these conditions. So they are Padangushthasan, Virasan cycle, Supta Virasan, Janu Sirshasan, Ardha Badh Padma Pachimotanasan, Pachimotanasan, Marichasan, one Savasan. So these are some asanas which are helpful here. So let's practice these asanas together. And one more thing you need to keep in mind here. When we practice these asanas, we need to pay attention that we keep our abdomen soft. No tension on our abdomen, no stress on abdomen. So let's get started. So let's start with Padangushthasan. To go in the pose, stand in Thadasan, big toes, inner heels touching, arms by your side. Then separate your feet hip width apart or if you want, you can separate more than your hips and then bring your hands on your vest draw your shoulder blades in chest lifted then exhale and extend your trunk forward then bring your hands to catch hold of your toes here so make sure here as i told you our motto is to keep our abdomen soft so to get the abdomen soft here we need to look forward and make our upper back concave means you are pressing your toes on your fingers and bring your shoulder blades in dorsal spine in and make your upper back concave and look forward so your abdomen can stay soft you can use bricks here this gives you the more extension easily without any strain on your abdomen and if you are practicing for a long time then you can exhale and press your feet down bend your elbows to the side and bring your forehead towards your shins and breathe normally legs straight weight on your big toe mounts heels on the floor abdomen soft then to come out of the pose keep pressing your feet down legs straight then bring your hands on your vest draw your shoulder blades in and bring your trunk forward and upward and then come in tadasan let's do virasan and virasan cycle and then supta virasan so to go in the virasan, kneel down, knees together, feet apart. Use your hands to bring calves away and sit back. You can always use height under your buttocks to get more extension of your trunk. And here, as I told you, we need to keep our abdomen soft. Then keep pressing your shins down, bring the outer knees downwards toward the floor toes facing back buttocks down and extend your trunk upward and when you use height it easy to get the extension hands on your thighs shoulder blade in shoulders down away from your ear look forward chin level and breathe then we do parvatasan in virasan so from here bring your hands in front of you then interlock your fingers and just notice which little finger on loose side so when you change the interlock it will be easy for you then turn your hand in front of you arms is straight and then axle and bring your arms overhead and use the leverage of your hands here to get the extension of your trunk upward more palms facing apart towards the ceiling and breathe normally 
get the extension keep this with you then axle bring your arms down and then change the interlock turn your palms in front of you axle bring your arms overhead keep pressing your shins down when you press your shins down automatically you get an extension upward in your trunk arms is straight bring your elbows in palms widened then exhale and bring your arm then release the interlock and come back in virasan from here we go in supta viras go in supta virasan without support but if you feel you need support or without support you feel any stress on your abdomen go with support and for the support as we all know now we use three or four blankets this way and we make cause stairs as our spine and one blanket for our head support so here i'm sitting in virasana knees together feet apart calves away sit back lift you myself up but a flush away and then bring myself on the support i can adjust my head support so my forehead is higher than my chin arms by my side or in the pose as you are supported it is restorative so stay in the pose for a longer and breathe normally give the extension or get the expansion in your chest feel it then to come out of the pose catch hold of your mat or you can press your hands on your soles and press your forearms down lift your trunk up head follow and then head last then kneel down cross your legs sit back and extend your leg in front of you dandasan now we will practice janu sirshasan ardh badh padma pachimottanasan and pachimottanasan which are the seated forward bend so keep three four blankets for this one one or two blanket under your buttocks so we can get the easy extension so sit on your height extend your leg in front of you dandasan then we'll go in janu sirshasan head to knee pose here make sure no stress on abdomen abdomen should be soft then to go in the pose catch hold the outer left ankle and bring it higher in right thigh so your sole of the left feet is pressing into right upper thigh again press your hands into the blanket extend your trunk upward here as our goal is to keep our abdomen soft we can go in the half pose or we can go in the full pose so to go in the half pose axel and catch hold of your right feet you can use a strap here and then keep your right heel down press the right big toe mount into your hand and extend your trunk upward and forward shoulder blades in so here to keep abdomen soft we need to make our upper back concave dorsal spine in if you are comfortable you are practicing you can axel bend your elbow to the out and go in full pose bring your forehead towards your right shin another way you can use height on your right shin to make to keep your abdomen soft how much height you can so with the strap or with the hand axel and slowly bring your forehead on your support or if you are not able to catch hold you can always catch hold the elbows and bring your forehead on your elbow 
abdomen should be soft then press your hand down inhale and come up so there are some ways you can do it but no strain on abdomen then to come out of the pose catch hold of your outer knee bring your knee towards you and then extend your leg in dandasana same way we repeat on another side catch hold of your right ankle and bring your right foot higher inward in the left thigh and your right knee at 90 left leg straight so here the best way you can keep your abdomen soft bring the height on your shin and then extend your trunk apart exhale and catch hold of your elbows and bring your forehead on your support and breathe normally you can use the strap and go in half pose only upward trunk extended upward and forward but draw your shoulder blade in so your dorsal spine in when your upper back in concave your abdomen will be soft then bring your support out of the pose catch hold of your up right knee bring it towards you and then extend in front of you dandasan so next pose is ardhabad pachimottanasan so i tell you all the ways what what you can do to keep your abdomen soft. upper back should be concave draw your shoulder in and dorsal is fine in so you can go in the half pose or you can always use support your shin so this time i'm going in the full pose ardh padma pachimottanasan so to go in the pose catch hold the inner catch hold of your left ankle and bring your left ankle over right then press your hands into the blanket extra trunk upward then axle and catch hold of your feet trunk extended upward and forward then from here again axle bend your elbow to the out and bring your forehead on your right shin stay in the pose breathe normally then to come out of the pose inhale and bring yourself up then gently catch hold of your feet bring your left leg down knees towards you and then extend in front of you then dasan same way repeat on right side catch hold right knee and bring your right ankle over your left thigh make sure when you do padmasana no pinch you should feel in your knees because we are rotating from our hip then from here press your hands into your blanket extend your trunk upward then exhale catch hold your feet with your hands you can use a strap extend your trunk upward and forward then to go in the full pose exhale bend your elbow to the out bring your chin then your forehead toward your shin then breathe normally to come out of the pose inhale and come up then catch hold your right leg gently bring your right feet down knees towards you and then extend your leg in front of you then dasana then we do the full pose pachimotan asan sitting forward bend again we sit on height extend our leg in front you have all the options only concave back half pose with a strap or with head, or you can always use support on your shins then here press your hands exhale catch hold of your feet or your toes then extend your trunk upward and forward you can stay here draw your shoulder blades in dorsal spine in and it makes your abdomen soft then from here exhale you bend your elbow to the out bring your chin then your forehead toward your shin then breathe normally to come out of the pose inhale and 
come up and then come in dandasana and sit in dandasana for a while next we will do marichasan one which is simple twist so sit on height which gives the extension easily then extend your leg in front of you dandasan to go in marichasan bend your left leg and bring it towards your left buttock then bring your left arm up and hook inside your left thigh and sit tall then from here your right hand go back on the floor or on your height go in the pose press your right heel down press your inner side of your left leg down press your right hand into the left thigh as you turn press your right hand into the floor as you extend your trunk upward then again press your right hand extend your trunk upward press your left hand into left thigh and turn yourself from left to right normally abdomen soft then to come out and come up then extend your left leg in front then dasana repeat on right side so bend your right leg bring your right heel towards your right buttock same way keep pressing the inner side of your right feet down right, left leg extend from buttock towards heel left hand go back then lift your right arm up and hook it inside your right thigh then exhale and turn your torso from right to the left to get more extension again press your right hand as you extend upward press your right hand into your right thigh and right feet pressing downward inward in the floor and breathe normally abdomen soft then inhale and come back then extend your leg in front of you then dasan then we do savasan and if you feel dizzy or light headed during menstruation if you do savasana 8 to 10 minutes you feel really good so today for savasana we will use height or support under our knees so to go in the savasana same way with bent leg lay down make sure your knees are supported on the blankets if you need blanket under your head you can always use then arms by your side arms rotated and inhale then with exhale close your eyes and let go your legs from the hip to the side let go of your arms from the shoulders release relax let go and just stay in the pose at least 8 to 10 minutes and you feel so good here i'm coming out of the pose to come out of the pose you can turn your palms downwards to the floor or you can bring your hands on your abdomen and slowly bend your back bring your feet on your support then without disturbing anything roll to your side stay here for a while then roll downwards to the floor press your upper arm to lift yourself up so this way if you do savasana it's really helpful these asanas have magical effect on mind and upset irritated and restless minds become tranquil and angry passionate moods are calmed down so by practice these asanas we soothe the nerves and exercise the calming effect on mind and get rid of these conditions during menstruations hope you enjoyed today's practice let me know if you have any question any query any confusion and don't forget to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel till then bye take good care of yourself because health is well see you in next yoga video